all right what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel this is a very special video one that's been in the works for quite some time and i am incredibly stoked about it so excited and the reason for that is what i got behind me here if you don't recognize it, this is actually my spider that i built up and um well it's stripped it's naked uh, because we're going to paint it um so what we're going to do uh, i got it primed cleaned uh, ready to go for color. Um, I'm going to keep the color a secret until the end of the video. The product I'm using is this right here. Spray dot bike. Um, this stuff is awesome. I played around with it, practiced with it a little bit so far. Um, and it's great stuff. It's actually made specifically for the consumer. It's a little bit of a, um, a thicker formula. Helps prevent from runs and dripping. And it's also a little bit more durable than your traditional wet spray paint. Uh, so it's a perfect option for those of you that want a custom paint job, want to do it yourself, and uh, a little bit cheaper than you would for, say, a powder coat or something. Um, just, I would recommend, once you get it painted, if you do choose to go this option, make sure you get a frame protector because it's not as durable as a powder coat. So uh, some sort of invisible frame protector so you can show off that beautiful paint job you got going on there. So. Without further ado, I'm going to get to painting. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy. So make sure you shake it good. Spread out bike, recommend shaking. Two minutes, at least two minutes for the product. So nice and mix. If it comes out and it's a little chunky, usually means it's not mixed good enough. All right, let's get to it. First color. Second color. Got the masking on. If you're wondering why I've been spraying so close with the color, it's actually um, something to do with the formula that Spread Out Bikes got going on. And with the color, they recommend two to four inches from whatever you're painting. Um, coats are good, and they actually don't recommend too many coats. They uh, say usually one coat is actually good with their product. So that's a plus because that's less money you got to spend and this is already uh, super affordable to begin with. So second color, let's get at it.
All right, here we are at one of the final stages, putting the uh, put, putting the finish on. Um, now, as you can tell, the sprayed out bike products, most of them already come with, uh, um, the color itself is already matte. Um, I'm gonna do a matte finish on it just to retain that finish, make it look nice and clean. It'll help clean up the edges of the masking. Um, and this, uh, both the finishes and the primers, um, they say spray similar to just your traditional spray can. And uh, so that's about eight inches, eight to 12 inches, I believe. Um, so let's get to it. It does go on glossy um, because it's wet. But once it dries, it dries a nice matte finish. Hardest part, I would say, is the fact that a mountain bike has so many different angles to try and get into every little nook and cranny. It is kind of a pain. But, that's nothing to say against the paint itself. The paint itself does a fantastic job of it. It's me. Sorry, I love the corner transitions, y'all. This is also from Sprayed Up Bike. These are all products from Sprayed Up Bike. Um, the only thing that is not was the masking that I did. It was actually from my mom. Um, she got one of them little cricket things, worked out great. So anyways, so this is what they call Kieran Sunlight. It is a gloss top coat. Um, this one in particular has blue glass dust in it. And uh, I'm just gonna do it on a few little segments of the frame and a little, um, a little crossbar on the rear triangle. So we'll see how this turns out. minutes or so um, spread out by products are touch dry leave after about 10 minutes so we'll let that happen and uh, we'll pull the masking off and uh, then we'll see what we got and about two days or so um, minimum of two days to build the bike back up huge shout out to spread out bike uh, for making this possible uh, great people huge um, huge shout out to their customer service uh, they helped me out throughout the entire way. Gave me tips and pointers. Um, if y'all choose this product, which I highly suggest, Sprayed Out Bike again. Um, they have an excellent fact page. They have videos, tutorials, how, you know, application stuff. Great company, super easy to work with, and super clean look after you're done with it. And uh, we'll see you guys out there on the trails. See ya. Thanksgiving ride Canuga. By the way, the place is freaking amazing. Um, and I will have a video coming out for my pre-ride and my race runs. Um, so keep a lookout for those. Um, I think she held up great. And um, there is one area, uh, if you remember earlier in the video, I mentioned getting some frame protectors for this type of paint just because it is a wet paint. It is not a powder coat, it is not a factory paint job. 
There's actually an area that I didn't think to put a frame protection on, um, and that is actually right back here on the inside of the rear triangle. Um, and I'll actually show you how well the paint, I, I think it uh, held up pretty good. Um, and that's from two days of riding and not just casual trail riding. This was, these were, you know, legit downhill trails at Ride Canuga um, for race runs. Uh, so they they worked super smooth. Uh, so I think the paint held up really good um, for the type of paint it is and the abuse that it went through with it being so fresh. So um, we'll take a look at that. So you can kind of see right in there. I mean, yes, it did get beat up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The down tube even held up pretty good from, you know, rocks and just crud flying up and everything. There's actually no scratches or dings or chips or anything on the down tube, uh, which I was actually pretty impressed with that. Um, so just a couple of tips that I figured out along the way, practice. Make sure you practice before putting it on the bike. Uh, make sure whatever plan you have um, is gonna work. Even do a little bit of masking while you're practicing it. You can do it on an old spray can. Um, what I did is I bought a uh, piece of sheet metal just from Home Depot. It was cheap. Um, just practice, practice, practice. Even buy extra paint if you need to to make sure you have enough practice because this paint does act a little bit differently than your traditional spray paint. Um, aside from that, it's a great product. Um, if you want to do a DIY project and you want to have a custom paint job for your bike, um, this is a great option. Highly recommend it. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm super happy with it. And um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.